Friends of Crossbar hosted their first ever media day and shared what the public can expect now that Crossbar has been designated as a special recreation management area. Crossbar is the only uh, Bureau of Land Management land in the state of Texas. So the Bureau of Land Management has designated this as a special recreation management area and in that designation we will have uh, camping. We have about 27 campsites planned. We will have trails for hiking, biking, and horseback riding. So it'll be a multi-use area. There is also hunting, archery hunting, by permit and uh, just basically come out and enjoy nature. Outside of recreational activities, Crossbar will provide educational opportunities for the public and learning about helium operations that took place under the land and their interpretive center. Crossbar has a long history in this region, but a lot of people don't know about it. So it was part of the helium operations, the federal helium operations. And really, they just needed the land for what was underneath the land. So for years, it was just leased out for grazing and whatnot. Helium plant is going to put in an interpretive center. Uh, we have several helium wells that have been capped. So we'll have those available for people to, to learn from. And I know Texas A&M and Texas Tech both have educational wildlife programs that come out here and study the wildlife. Friends of Crossbar SRMA is the nonprofit that is helping raise funds for the land. Currently, they have applied for two grants and are working with Potter County and the Amarillo Convention and Visitors Bureau. It's a designation that allows for the BLM to develop a property as, as what the name implies is an outdoor recreation spot. Uh, that goes through a stringent review process, um, an environmental assessment, uh, uh, resource management plan, a lot of outreach to the public. Um, it, it's not an overnight deal. It's it's a process that takes years. Preserving and restoring the land is important to the community, friends of Crossbar, and the government. It's a top priority in every decision that is made. Uh, we have to be very careful of how we treat it. Uh, as I said, the federal government owns and manages this land, and so they have a lot of interest in preserving the wildlife and, and preserving the uh, the vegetation that's here and actually trying to bring it back to more of a pristine uh, uh, setting the way it would have looked say in 1876 when people first started coming out here. Crossbar plans to host more events on the land to allow the public to experience the property. Due to the funding and design process there is not a set date when Crossbar will officially operate as a recreational area but their leadership is hopeful it will be within the next five years. 